This morning I was chatting with some of my children just about a variety of things. I'm going to be 60 this year and my family's planning a vacation to uh, a place called Indian Lake, New York. And uh, we were just chatting back and forth about some of the funny things, you know, of being a child, of being a parent, and uh, now being a grandparent. And uh, going back and forth with a couple of the, the, the moms and things, just about what life is about. And what I've come to realize is what is most important isn't what I thought was most important 20, 30, 40 years ago. Even yesterday, uh, a man came up to me who knew me some 40 years ago. I figured it must be around 38 years ago. And uh, it was kind of embarrassing because he remembered me from a different lifestyle and things like that. And not only do the things we embrace become different, but how we embrace things become different. Even as I was joking with one of my daughters about, you know, an encounter with a moose or throwing, you know, throwing her into the middle of the pool and things. I, I just look back and, I, and I'm just reminded of those things about, you know, some of the fun times we had and things. I'm not having the moose come around the corner and scaring me. That, that wasn't all that much fun. But uh, I just love my kids. And, and I think about if, if God hadn't shown up in my life, I probably wouldn't have the life I have. I, uh, I don't envision I, I would have the, the, the same people in my life. Even as I spoke to this man yesterday who remembered me from a bar scene some 38 years ago, I, I realized that uh, life's changed. And uh, my job is just to keep moving where God's moving. So my encouragement to you today is to embrace what you have, embrace your family, embrace your friends, hold on to God. Uh, he's never going to let you go. He's never going to leave you behind. And, and, and just begin to uh, allow God to move through your life. One of the greatest questions I get asked is, how do you do it? And I say, I just let him. And so I would just encourage you to let him today. Let him be him in your life. God bless.